Hello and welcome to this edition of uh, Big Sky 35 Saturday Chat. Um, sorry, a little slow. Woke up a little early this morning. Um, I'm going to go do some game hunting, I think, today. Uh, just to get out and about, actually have a Saturday off. My first one off in a while, so uh, just going to go have some fun. Um, there is a card show about 40 45 minutes to an hour from me i just don't feel like driving today (laughs) Uh, i'm just staying in the area uh i have been um well i'll get to that today but uh the week there was I, i know the last few saturdays i don't think i've done this uh it's been so busy at work uh working a lot of overtime but that's fine. Um, getting ready to go go to shows and stuff like that and do some traveling. Uh, so a week there was Sunday night. Uh, basically watched the Super Bowl second half. Chatted. Uh, had Carlos on. Uh, not my typical uh, Sunday night thing. Um, you know, not not great for re rewatching or watching later. Uh, just to kind of a watch along with the Super Bowl. It was a lot of fun doing it, don't get me wrong. Um, I think I broke my record of how long one of my lives go. I think I went two hours in a few seconds. Uh, but it was fun. It was it was a lot of fun chatting. I had Andy come on. Haven't had Andy on the channel in forever. Uh, haven't talked to him uh, since the National. Uh, one of the even though he doesn't do a lot of videos, he's still a great person in the community. Uh, he does do a video every once in a while, and but he's in a lot of chats. Uh, so that is, that's always kind of, uh, you know, it, it, that's being part of the community just as much. Um, so let's see. Uh, what, what did we do? Let's see. Monday, me and my dad chatted, getting closer and closer to baseball. As I'm talking now, I think everybody has pitchers and catchers in, uh, first year draftees and signees. Um, and I mean, they've already shared pictures of a lot of vets also at practice. I think, uh, I don't know. It just seems a lot livelier this year. Not a lot of movement in the off season. But, it, uh, you know, I think how they're doing the playoffs, even though as I got used to it, it was fun having the playoff rush down at the end. Uh, I think it's bringing more and more excitement to the league. Um, and it proved just getting into the playoffs, your team could go far. You don't have to win a division. Um you know, uh, it, it's just uh, playing playing your best ball at the best time. Uh, and it just really – and I want to talk a little bit. Hopefully uh, – and I'll get to my week is coming. I, I, I'm jumping ahead too much today. Um, so Wednesday, I'm going to show it again. I, I got to show this off. I was really excited. My first red man, uh, Yogi Berra, um, purchased from Mike. I uh, appreciate it again, Mike, uh, working with me on this. And, uh, you know, it isn't a two, um, but I've said it before. I try to get the best copy at the price I can afford. Uh, and this didn't break the bank by any means. So uh, another a catcher, a great catcher, one of the greats that's in a copy of a card that I've always really enjoyed looking at, but I wanted in a player that meant something uh, to me. And, uh, you know, I, I love catchers. And who doesn't love Yogi? Yogi Yogiisms, um, a great uh, person of the game uh, on and off the field. Uh, yeah, um, Yogi was great. Uh so I showed that off and some other pickups I had. Uh, this one as well. Love. I was looking at this yesterday. Um, just got to get a one touch for it. 
beautiful, beautiful patch uh, and uh, auto number to 99 tier one uh, 2013 David Wright. Uh, I'm just picking those off, picking up a lot of autos. I'm sitting there going, how many autographs do I need? Uh, I guess all of them. Um, you know, I've been picking up David. All, uh, I got a, a Pete Alonzo coming in that I bought off of Sport Lots. I sold enough of my cheap cards. Most of my cards I sell on there are less than 20, 20 to 20 or I don't know, probably less than a dollar, dollar or less. I, I sell a lot more dollar cards, but but I saved up to get an auto um, that's coming in. It was, it's not an expensive auto, Pete Alonzo. It is a rookie gallery. Uh, excited to get that, um, but sold off a bunch of stuff, emptied some of my cards and, you know, found homes uh, and I get a card. Get rid of a card, a bunch of cards to get one card. Uh, I feel better about that. Trying to make space, uh, trying to just liquidate cards that I have. Uh, so you know that that's the way it's going, and, and that's where I'm at right now. We're gonna talk about it now. Um, yeah, so that that's been going pretty well. I've slowed down. I decided I need to make a, a, a listing. And the bad thing about sport lots, once you kind of stop listing, you got to have a lot of hot cards so people will buy more cards from you to make the shipping make sense. Um, so you always got to be kind of listing and somebody will hit something. And, you know, um, uh, one thing, though, I've been getting told is the shipping. I I don't do a lot of eBay and I only go to my PO about once a month. So I haven't really been paying attention, like how long stuff's been getting mailed to me. But as y'all's USPS taking a little longer, I've had a couple uh, that took a while to get to where they need to go. Uh, Sport Lots is, if I sell four or less cards, it's going into a white envelope. Uh, as long as they're the you know regular size cards, uh, it, it goes just fine. Um, non machinable, uh, and it gets sent off, so I keep my shipping costs down with that. Uh, so I do at least always, most of the time, so people buy four cards from me, um, and then uh, and get the same shipping. Uh, but it, I don't. I've been having, and I, I can't, and they know I don't control it, but they're just letting me know. They see when they see the data get stamped when I get dropped off, and I, I can't control it from there. Um, I could just get it there. No, you know, it might, I might package it. It takes a day before I take it to the, you know, uh, to the post office. But I usually don't like to uh, pull pull the cards on the actual website until I go to take it. So the customer knows, Hey, it's coming to you. Uh, the bigger stuff, I do put tracking numbers and stuff with it. Uh, if it's a bigger order. Um, but I, I was just wondering how everybody else is doing on that. Just, just question. Um, if, if USPS, I know, uh, you know, a few years back, it, it they were cutting back and all this stuff. Uh, but it just didn't seem to affect much in, in my world, but it seems now that I'm doing more and more, uh, selling, um, those big cards, uh, that it, it is. And I, I do have a nice, uh, stack that I'm going to be putting on eBay, uh, just kind of waiting for the season to get started a little bit. Um, and for baseball to be more in the, the main focus, uh, Mike O always says, you know, as soon as the uh, Super Bowl is over, it seems to be more baseball focus on eBay. Uh, speaking of eBay, uh, I have a lot of uh, stuff. Uh, I So not buying any retail hobby boxes or anything for, for a Series 1. 
I'm just buying the cards that I want. So I bought the base rookie cards, uh, four guys that I'm interested in, um, having them already sent off to be graded to put in my PC. Um, if somebody else starts catching my eye, I'll pick him up. Uh, that's, you know, where I'm at. I, if I could pick up an auto of a couple of them, I will at a decent price. I just think Jason Dominguez is going to be crazy priced right now. And before he got hurt, he looked like he was really doing well last year. I was happy to see that with that young man, even though he's a Yankee, because all the just piled up what everybody expects from him, uh, monster of a, of a man. Uh, so hopefully when he comes back, I hope he comes back this year. I don't know if he's, I need to find out if he's starting the season or if he's hurt. Uh, and I, and I haven't seen Evan Carter getting much love in the cards this year. Um, I, I feel like that's a shocker because he had such a great playoff run in World Series, him and Josh Young. Um, and I'm inter interested in Josh's second year. I, uh, I'll probably pick up one of him uh, if it's got the cup on it. Um, uh, I think he's going to be outstanding. He just has that that look, that baseball look. I don't think last year was a fluke for him. If he wouldn't have got injured, I think he would have won um, Rookie of the Year in the American League over Gunner. Of course, Gunner is amazing. I'll, I'll pick up his cup card as well. Because uh, Adley's was last year. Adley Rushman's was cup card was the same as his rookie card. Uh, that's always disappointing when that happens, but it it, it happens. Um, you know, these young players come up so fast, it's, it's hard to keep up. And some of them get put in situations, you know, with injuries, they have to come up. And uh, tops and major league baseball just can't keep up with all of that. And it's understandable. Uh, that's why I've always, I, I've always been uh, one to think they sh like hockey. They shouldn't be able to make the rookie card until they play. Um, but that's just me. Uh, so uh, that that's, I like the old way. If it came up early enough, played early enough, they were in the traded set or update, whatever you want to call it, and, or they were in the next year's set. Um, I, I know it, having the hot rookies in your set started late 80s, early 90s, really pushed the card market and uh, where it's at now. Um, but that's just my feeling on that. Uh also, one other thing I want to throw out there, and I'll talk more about this uh, tomorrow night, and, I, and I'm hoping Mike comes on so we can go in depth. He's opened, a, him and his dad's opened a lot of uh, 2024. I'd like to go in depth in it, see what his thoughts are, uh, what's been hot for him so far, where he's been contacting him about stuff. Uh, I know he's talked about it on his channel um he's opened about a jumbo a hobby uh 24 silver packs he has that all on his channel i'll um, go check that out uh but I, I got some bad news this week for my mets team so the president of operations i think it was came out and said it is looking very highly likely that Pete Alonso will be a free agent next year. Man, my heart dropped when I saw that because it's two things. So if the Mets at the All-Star break are playing like they did this past year, most likely he'll be traded. Secondly, I don't know if the Mets, because Boris likes to, to, he is a Boris guy. And if you know the big five he has this year, they have still not signed uh, by the midweek of this week. All players should have reported to camp. 
Um, so none of the, unless something has changed uh, by Saturday, two seventeen, I haven't seen it. Um, please let me know. Uh, he plays the game, and uh, he he he's going to be a free agent, and, and Soto is going to be the same way with the Yankees. Soto wants to be a free agent. They came out as well, but my my question is is so with Pete. And I, if you follow my channel, and I mean, I have I have a stack of probably 150 Pete Alonzo cards that I'm uh, putting in my binders right now. Um, I went on Com C and just bought 100 because <laughs> my issue is, and I talked to somebody with Pete, and I know this is a side thing, is uh, I'll tend to go online and buy autos and the numbered cards and everything, and then I look and I go, oh, I don't have the base cards. <laughs> so I went on Comp C and scooped up a bunch of stuff on there. Uh, and I, we're going to talk a little bit about Comp C right now, too, uh, tomorrow night, because uh, my buddy Mike Fabian's had an issue, and he, he uh, shared something with us. And we're going to talk a little bit about them tomorrow night. Um, seems they're going backwards a little bit, but uh, my my issue, and I brought this up with Syndergaard and Degrom. What do I do as a I'm a Mets fan? I collect the flagship Mets base cards. Well, not even it. it the base, yeah, the base. Uh, I try to get the variant images as well because I kind of feel like they're base, but I don't get the. Uh, color variants and all that stuff. I'm not really worried about that. Um, with all the players, I worry about Mets or uh, David Wright and, and Pete Alonzo. If there's any David Wright cards or, or Pete Alonzo cards, I try to pick up as many as I can. And that's what I've been doing this week. But with Pete probably not being a Met after this year, what what do I do? Do I keep up? He's my favorite player right now that's playing. And most likely, I will keep, my thought is, yes, I will pick up a few of whatever team he goes to. And, geez, even if he's a Yankee, because I, I have a funny feeling that's where he's going to end up. Um, or Dodger. Um, but I don't know if the Dodgers have a place for him unless they put uh, Otani in the outfield. I um, he might be a Cub as well. That could be a very likely spot. Um, or the Mets pay a ransom to keep him. Um, but, and which I would be happy with. I just hate overpaying for players. Uh, I, what do y'all do? If your player leaves your team or a player that you really like, I've had this with Conforto. Sydney Garden, I fall in love with a player that's on the Mets. That's why I've really been collecting David Wright. I've been catching up on my David Wrights, uh, really sunk into those. I have a bunch of them to put up in my, in my binders as well. Uh, I uh, just trying to get a feel on what to do because as depressing as it is that when I watch the Mets games, Pete's not going to be in the lineup because that's I always have them. If I'm home and I'm trying to get on first shift so I can watch more baseball, that I miss a lot of games because of work. Uh, you know, you got to make money, but I work second shift, so it sucks. But I try to watch as much as I can. Uh, if I'm at home, the game's on. A game is on, uh, at least. Uh, but when I'm watching the Mets, when Pete's up, I stop whatever I'm doing to watch. Uh, everybody else, I kind of, you know, Alvarez, I'm kind of the same way because I really like him, but I haven't got into that same feelings mode that I have with Pete. Uh, Pete really captured the Mets fans in the city, uh, his rookie season, and uh, you know, the, uh, <laughs> home run derbies and stuff and just it's great to see uh you know him and Bader have a relationship so I'm in I'm really happy that we got him 
Um, our outfield's going to be really, really solid uh, uh, this year uh, with him playing center and Nemo and Marte in the outfield. Uh, but I, I just just don't know what to do with Pete. What what I probably end up doing is just trying to get as many Mets cards as I can of him. Might pick up a base card or, or two uh, in another uniform, but I will most likely really go after Mets cards and still pay attention heavily to what he's doing. We'll probably still, I'll have two games up. I'll have Mets in whatever team Pete's playing on, probably. And I'm hoping with all these young players that are coming up, one of them captures me like Pete has. Uh, you know, I really, and, and I know later on as I get older, uh, which I don't, <laughs> I don't know how much later that's going to be at 52. Uh, but, you know, Pete's probably got another, he might even have another 10 years. You know, I don't know if 62 and he's been bounced around a few places, DH him. I'm hoping I, I'm as excited about him then, you know, as I was with Gary Carter um, at the end of his career bouncing around. Uh, but Pete's far from the end of his career right now. And uh, I, I really hope he goes to a team that I can at least – kind of pull for uh has anybody else been in that situation you know i really like the girl in the center garden but once they left they were not dead to me but i just didn't care once they weren't a med and i doubt i'm gonna feel that way about pete i, I really do he's on my mount rushmore i got this whole thing of pete's back here rookie card uh 475 version um pitcher uh, yeah, I, I just been, uh, kind of in turmoil this week about that with my hobby. I'm sitting here, uh, you know, putting right way P Lonzo's and, and really, uh, how I do things. I try to keep like pictures um, on the pages together, which I think everybody does try to do color runs and all that stuff. And it's really cool when you fill up a page of a, the same picture, um, and different variants. Um, I even have pages where it's the same card uh, nine times. Um, it's always fun with that and love going through the books. And uh, I just started a third book on him and just seeing, and I might have to start a fourth one tonight, uh, when I get finished with what I have to put away. Uh, just, you know, he's, He's only been around since 2019. You know, it's five years in his fifth year. And, uh, you know, we know who he is now. You know, 40-plus homer guy, around 100 RBIs. Uh, you know, the, he had a down year in batting average, but he's around a 250 hitter um, with good – uh, plate discipline. He doesn't chase out of the zone too much. And uh, I, I, but he don't get cheated. And uh, so I really enjoyed his career with the Mets. And, you know, I kind of hope they figure it out. But again, I'm going to put it out there. You know, is there, there, I'm sure there's a lot of Otani people. You know, when you're an Angels fan and it goes to the Dodgers, uh, the dreaded Dodgers. Freddie Freeman, you know, went for the Braves. Braves are almost like America's team. Um, and then goes to the hated Dodgers uh, for many. Uh, are you still a Freddie Freeman fan? Um, Mookie Betts from Boston, the Dodgers. It, I just have this issue where I don't know what to do. And I guess I'll face it when I get there. But, man, do I really like watching Pete Alonzo play and that he plays with such his first thing was like, you know, people, oh, he didn't have much personality. And then he started showing personality and they're like, who's this clown that one year at the 800 run, he can't win with some people. And that's just the way it is. Um, but, uh, you know, beast of a man, 
really won over the fans in New York, and I hope the Mets do everything they can to keep him. Uh, but Boris is going to go to free agency, so he can play off of each other. He doesn't let his guys not go to free agency. So just wondering, throwing it out there. I know I babbled quite a bit, um, but when it comes to the hobby, you know, if you're a player goes to a team, like if you're a Soto fan and you hate the Yankees, I, I've already said it. I like Soto. I pick up Soto cards a lot of times. And, and when I find them cheap, a lot of times I can find them in the dollar bin, um, $2 bin, especially when he went to San Diego. Uh, I can get them pretty cheap. Uh, I've picked up cheap uh, eights and nines of him and PSA cards. Uh, you know, he went to the Yankees and I will not buy him in a Yankee uniform. Now, if I pull one, I'll keep it, but I'm not opening anything right now. So, uh, Soto is not one. He's, he's one of my favorite players to watch, but, and I'll still watch it, you know, Yankee game to see Soto play, but I, I just won't. He's not my favorite player, so I'm not going to buy him in a Yankee uniform. Uh, just just throwing that out there. Like I said, uh, hoping I have Mike on. He needs to stay awake long enough for him, for him to come on tomorrow night so we can talk. Hopefully have some more friends of the channel uh, and uh, on tomorrow night. And uh, I have a PSA return uh, that's been – 14 months to get to me that I'll show Wednesday. Uh, me and my dad, I'll be talking for, uh, Monday, uh, just getting the season started, getting prepped for preseason. Um, uh, cause I think game start end of next week or the week after it's, it, they go right into spring training. Um, cause March, 28th is opening day for all teams. And the weekend before is the Dodgers and Padres in, in Korea for two games, I think. And I'll have more information on that Monday when we, me and my dad talk. Uh, check that out. And then uh, that's it. And I'll see you, see you tomorrow night, Sunday night. Talk a little bit about more about the 2024 cards. Uh, talk you know whatever's going on uh, hobby until then like share tell a friend and we'll see uh